Talk Tall Cedar. Today we're going to talk about the New York Yankees, one of the most iconic teams in Major League Baseball. Keep up with the latest weather news and see what we can expect from the team in the coming months. Stay with us, enjoy and subscribe to the channel to not miss any video. It's no secret that the New York Yankees are looking to their outfield for help. At the same time, the Pittsburgh Pirates are willing to listen to Brian Reynolds. It would make sense for both sides to discuss a possible deal. According to John Morosi, this is the case. The Yankees and Pirates would have been in touch about Reynolds, who would certainly fill a need in New York. However, the Pirates Pirates are also looking for pitches to head the comeback, while the Yankees' farm system is led by position players. This sparked some speculation on social media that Nestor Cortez Jr. would be the main attraction in any such business. If Cortez is part of the asking price, the Yankees need to get off the phone and move on. Cortez is a key part of their rotation, even with Carlos Rodon coming on board, and could very well be the game's best third starter. He's also exactly what the Yankees need in their rotation. Don't forget to leave your like and comment to continue the conversation. Thanks for following along. One can understand why there would be so much speculation about Cortez. He had a career year in 2022 posting a 2.44 EI and a .922 whip in his 158.1 innings, striking out 163 batters with 38 hits. With only 28 years old and several years at the helm of the team, Cortez could be the type of pitcher the Pirates could build. At the same time, the Yankees theoretically have a lot of depth in the rotation. Frankie Montes and Domingo German are ready to fight for the starting fifth spot in the rotation, with the loser going into a long relief role and to be a deep option. Trading Cortez would allow Montes and German to take places in the rotation, with Clark Schmidt likely serving as the next man. But that's not the kind of pitching staff a viable candidate would have. Trading Cortez leaves the Yankees in the same place with their rotation. While Aaron Hicks isn't anyone's ideal starting situation, there are other left field options available in free agency. Likewise, there are other teams that might be looking to make a deal without having to let Cortez out. Trading Cortez, or another team that is asking for him as part of a trade package should be a deal breaker. If you liked our video about the New York Yankees, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news. Your participation is very important to us and motivates us to produce even more interesting and relevant content for you. Thanks for watching.